The great city of London hosted the first four international rugby contests between New Zealand and England. And over the past 117 years, this has become one of the sport's great rivalries. Played these days for the Hillary Shield. Tenakoto Katoa, welcome to Sky Sports coverage of the 43rd edition of the All Blacks against England at Twickenham, one of the game's great sporting theatres. So they'll go to a line out now. 10 metre line, All Black territory. On the line block. Of the 15. One by England, intercept, Dalton Papali looks like he's got the pace, and he has, and the All Blacks in early. Look, it was only a couple of moments ago they were close to the line anyway. Plenty of homework done throughout the week. Jeff Wilson spoke about that in the build-up. Watching the team, he's very happy with what they've achieved, but you can see it goes over the 15, so you're allowed to start approaching, approaching Dalton Popoli. He does, picks it out of the air off of the pass of Jack, Jack Van Poorfleet and scores the first try for the All Blacks. Cody Taylor has his redemption back in the starting side and throwing in. So they go to Retallick. Now Taylor will latch onto the back. And the All Blacks looking good. They're looking, driving in unison. And getting close to the line. I think they've got it on the grass, they have. Cody Taylor scores, and the All Blacks are in again. Well, it was a funny put down over the line. It will be interesting to watch the replay and just how Cody Taylor has scored it. But it was a good set. Maul, Maul has been functioning very well for the later part of this year, especially. Yeah, it was great work. They got themselves set up nicely, and then once Cody Taylor recognized he had some momentum it was whether or not he could break away and get the ball to ground in your right cane it took a little bit of time under pressure and just watch here as he starts accelerating towards the line there's good defense there he keeps fighting keeps fighting just watch it here and then from here he punches it down to the ground there turns it over he got it and beautifully done by Savia snapped up by Whitelock and now Savia delivers. All Blacks lining up. Here's Talia running hard. Still going. A couple of metres short. Quick recycle needed here. Jordy Barrett trying to fight his way through. Ball still available for the All Blacks. Now Smith gets it back for Retallick. Smith again. Now slings it wide for Taylor. Taylor almost got his hands through. Smith again. Slings it off for Ioane, and he's in under the post. Rico Ioane, try number three. Uh, Bayern, I just want to check a potential neck roll by Black on the rack, uh, close, close to the touchline, please. Yes. Yeah. Looks as though they're going to take a look at something here. Yeah. They'll escape. That's right. So, uh, here. so it's Rico Ioane, you can see the right arm around. Owen Farrell, you can hear the referees listening. We'll listen in. Uh, talking, we'll listen in. Yes, Matthew? From, from what I see on the screen, the number 15 black put his arm around the neck is a clear neck roll. So I will this all try and come back to the initial infringement penalty kick for England five, five metres from the England, yeah, it's, right? it's number 13 black. OK. No try? Well, no try given. Set. Right, in it goes from... Van Portfleet, England trying to put some pressure on. This All Black scrum's not likely to buckle, but they've got a penalty advantage anyway. Smith drops his pass off. Playing under this penalty advantage. Good contest. Come back here, knee on the ground. And, and it's against tight head Tyrell Lomax. Yeah, this is one of the most frustrating areas for me in terms of the way referees are refereeing games at the moment. This is probably a good result for them. They need to get some reward for being in the right part of the field. But it's taken a lot for them, and the All Blacks will be satisfied that the defence is held up. So here's Farrell from pretty much out in front, and he converts the penalty into points. 14 points to three. Now Smith again. Moonga standing in the tackle. Got away from a couple. Good momentum forward. Taylor carries yeah, it on. It. Smith waits again. Arm out from the referee. 
Now, here is Talia again off the retallic pass. Edging ever closer. White block. England missing some first up tackles. Scott Barrett. Smith again. Geordie Barrett testing this defence. Ball left behind. Carried on by Sabia. Ball again there for Aaron Smith. Away for Ethan De Groot. Big part of the game coming up here. Half time almost with us. Ioani denied a try earlier. Now Smith. Oh, and it's gone forward. Tough pass to take. So the penalty from Geordie Barrett. Julie goes through, and it is half time at Twickenham, and the All Blacks have a good advantage over England, and they lead by 17 points to three. As away we go. Waiting is Retallick. All Blacks once again tidy from their set pieces. Smith swings it off to Taylor. Ball taken outside the 22. And England win a penalty. And his kick is accurate. So England make a good start to the second half as the All Blacks lead by 17 to 6. Delivers for Sinclair. 10 metres out from the All Black 22. Smith swings it across. Ball's been lost. Now Moanga as the All Blacks look to create something after a knock-on by England as De Groot has it just out from the 22. Now the cross deck boy, we've seen some of these today, and it's worked brilliantly again. Here's the pace of Rico Yuani. I think he's going to go all the way here. Rico Yuani, what a try. Well, he got close early, it wasn't to be. Then about 15 minutes later, he got over again, but because of the neck roll that he performed on Owen Farrell, he didn't get the chance to get himself on the scoreboard. Counter-attack opportunity, another crossfield kick in the exit zone from the All Blacks, pass back into the speed of Rico Ioane. He will go 60, 70 metres and yeah. score in the corner for the All Blacks. Yeah. The All Blacks looking at opportunities they have kicked and kicked with right width all day and there's that man flying out in the open world-class winger okay. this year has become a world-class center and to see that sight the all blacks quiet, quiet. will breathe a sigh of relief hang on please all good across for billy vunapola short pass made by farrell now young's again up it goes to curry as england build the pressure and they concede another penalty. Boy, there's been some penalties in this game. This time, Artie Sabia turns it over. Yeah, there has been a lot of penalties. It, it, to be fair, nobody enjoys He's watching them. But England, if you're a fan, you won't enjoy a lot of the work when they get close to the line. Perinara sells a dummy and gives it off to Geordie Barrett. He, in turn, finds Dalton Papali'i. Run away, Tucker. And England is a man trapped in there. No hope of getting out. Absolutely no hope. But he's penalised anyway. Drop kick coming up. And the drop kick is over. Not bad from Bowden Barrett. Spots the opportunity from playing out in fullback. And Jeff, that would make an old fullback proud. All Blacks in control with 10 minutes to go. Now Marcus Smith. Marcus Smith goes through. Just a metre short of the line. And England again looking for quick ball. They've got a penalty. Which number is it on the Digging in as Youngs. Desperately searching for it. Looking to get it over the line. I think they might have. That might have been a Bob Dean's job. I think that's over and then driven back. First of all, uh, 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 we will check after if there is a try yes or not. But first, not clear release, close to the ingo line on a light break. So first, you go. Yeah, fair enough too. No clear release from Bowden Barrett when Marcus Smith made that break. So close to the line, it did look cynical. Maybe 
on the line, maybe. Yes. They're going to give it by the look of it. Well, they will award the try, Jeff. Big time in taking the decision. Your thoughts? Well, the whole thing's a shambles. England keeping the ball in hand. Here's Smith again. Slings it wide. Getting dangerously close to the touchline. Johnny May, who's looked very good with limited opportunities. As Young's Itoshi. Short pass. Here's Ribbons in the gap. Beautiful offload. England's starting to look pretty good now. 15 out from the line. Young's. Remember, they've taken this from the kickoff. Young's goes again. Charging hard. Fullback Stewart. Wow, that's a try and a half. Wow, how about that? 80,000 strong in Twickenham. They have been largely quiet. Yet here we are in the 73rd minute. 16 points to 25 with a kick to come. As Verney Polo sends it up. And now England looking to outflank the All Blacks here. Slade. Slade still going. Getting five metres away. Into the arms of Guy Porter. England looking to salvage something out of this game. It's there for Youngs. Marco Verney Polo. Savia looking to turn it over. He thought he had it. Now it's with George. No, they haven't made it. Yes, they have. I'm not sure. Richie Moonga attempts the tackle. Yes, Matthew, the ball has been... That looks like a try. And wow. the try is awarded. England back in the game. However, only 50 seconds left. And the conversion is made. 25 all. Still time to go. As they go the short way, the All Blacks. England take it down. So now, what's the attitude? Settled for the draw? Yep, it looks like it. England happy with the draw. As Marcus Smith kicks it into touch. Wow, what a game of rugby that was. The All Blacks led by 25 to 6. And this man... Will Stewart, the prop, scored a couple of tries. Freddie Stewart scored a try. And what we finish up with at Twickenham is a 25-all draw.